This is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, my next reaction, we are going over to Poland, to this Polish artist, Margaret. And it was recommended to me after my, you know, as you know, I'm started doing uh, Christmas carols and carol singing um, from around the world. And I'm at the moment on Poland and Ukraine. And Poland, there's, a, I don't know much about this, number one, but the channel is Margaret and the title is Warsaw Carol. And there's no description about it. So I've been translating at the comments. And it says, one of the first comments says, Some believe that what was has passed and is not worth dwelling on. Not true. People who experienced the war are still alive. So it can't be counted as dead past. But even if those who are now alive die, we should remember the most about those who died fighting for a free country. For our freedom. And this memory and respect will never be lost. So this is a Christmas, this is a carol, but also a reminisce of people of the past and the people of the present who contributed in defending. And that's a strong word, defending and being very, very patriot to oneself so that others can have a prosperous life and a fruitful life. We're talking about the children of tomorrow. And I think there's a lot of things to be reflected on this year. And things that we need to be grateful for. The things that's unexpected to pray for. And many, many other things uh, that you know, I can't fathom the list because I haven't had your exp uh, uh, life experience. Everybody's got their own individual life experience. When you calculate at the end of the year, there's a number of things to be grateful for and a number of things to reflect upon. So I think this is kind of one of those songs that Margaret has ded uh, dedicated herself to. So, to, you know, as in a, um, you know, uh, a respect to. So, Okay, that's put me in a, in a, a frame of mind. The, the channel that I'm getting this from is uh, Gaja Hornby Records. So I'd like to say a big shout out to Gabby Horn, um, Hornby Records. I will leave all the details down below in my description page. So you can go to their channel and check out their material. Um, they've got 652,000 subscribers. So they've got an amazing amount of materials. Um, I believe they've got 121 videos with 362 million views from 121 videos. So there's a lot of things for you to check out there and there's no excuse for it. So that's G-A-J-A. -G -A -G -A. So is that Gadja? Let me know. Um, Gadja Hornby Records. So look, we should check out this song. So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? <laughs> Obviously, these are the real footage. This looks like World War One or World War Two. Or it's one of them. Odłóż, dzień narodzenia na inny czas. I thought she'd be older. Niechaj nie widzą. Oczy stworzenia Jak gnębią nas Niechaj się rodzi Syn najmilejszy Wśród innych gwiazd 
want a sheep? Ale nie tutaj, nie w najsmutniejszym ze wszystkich miast. How old is this song? that these footage still survived. Look at the women in the vo- involved in the war as well. World War II. Narodzić w cieniu wojennych zgliszcz. To lepiej zaraz po narodzeniu rzuć go na krzyż. So that was Margaret with Warsaw Carol. It's amazing that these footage still stand the test of time. I know there must be in museums and so forth and there's artifacts. And yes, indeed, there are still a slight handful of people that are still alive in that. And they have these memories of, you know, their, their friends are now no longer with us. And I wonder how they look now when they look out their window and they see the modern day, take, the modern day of today. Um, surely I know they say, well, you know, I'm glad it was worth it what I did and so forth like that. But I believe that you reach a certain time when you see time going by and you're just waiting to go. I don't know what age that is. I hope that never happens to oneself, but I believe it happens to every person when you reach that particular age, when your surrounding loved ones are no longer there and all is left is yourself and you're just waiting to be, go, to go to them, you know, so to speak. This, yes, I don't understand Polish. Um, and I thought this was, like I said, a carol. And it's got to show that the history was, is, is very vague to myself. Why? I, because we weren't basically taught like taught taught things like this in school. We yes, we know the World War and you know, but it was always from a point of a point of view from the country that you're learning it from. So you're not going to experience other. We didn't know oh World War Two on the French about or about the French World War Two about. Do you know what I mean? It's always on that side. Um, I don't know about that. How you know the Africans' involvement in World War II, in World War Two and World War One and all that stuff, and India's involvement in World War as well. Um, that's what we were taught in school, but never on the kind of European side. Only it was less, it was spoken about Germany. So seeing footage like this, and also a young artist who's wants to say, you know what? I don't know if maybe her granddad was in it and just told the stories and she wanted to contribute in some way of saying, look, we must not forget where we are um, on that, or in particular how we got there. And if we would have lost, how different it would have been. That's a massive reflect. That really is. And like I said, this one particularly surprised me because I was expecting, you know, the snow and jingle bells, you know, a carol, Christmas carol. But this has... A different perspective on things because yes Chris is it was all about joyous to everyone and being kind and grateful to everything and all that but it's also reminiscing and being grateful for so I'm glad that 
in a way that I have reacted to this um, track. For everybody to see, you know what, there's a lot of things that we have to, um, that we still are fighting for right now, which is the repetitive history um, in one's life and in one's country around the world. Um, and in that we must not forget. So there's a saying, don't forget. We must not forget the things of the past or else it will be repetitive in the future. And this is a remembrance. It certainly is. For that reason, I salute you. Boom. A jeśli chcesz już narodzić w cieniu wojennych zgliszcz, to lepiej zaraz po narodzeniu rzuć go na krzyż.